your family, what's the best advice that a guy like your dad, who's been a college coach for a long time, gave to you during this process? Um, I'd just say he just got gui just guiding me, um, just all the coaches that he trusts. Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. We're in Central Tennessee at the city of Murfreesboro, where the fans are getting fired up for this one. Has to be right, and I think he's a really nice fit for Lincoln Riley. What they want to do with their offensive package. Oklahoma has three offensive linemen in this game. Yep. That's got to feel good for a quarterback who just got into a program. What a great way to get this special night started. You look at the rules right there. No kickoff, so we start at the 35-yard line. Two Hall of Famers on the sideline today, Ed Reed and Deion Sanders, our coaches, Team Sanders. We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Bennett takes it at the four. Room around the corner. He's pushed out of bounds at the 33-yard line. Irving, we had a chance to see this kid a year ago, and he was sensational. If he's anything like he was last year, look out this season. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. The best thing about that two card is his run. He's on the run. He's taken down at the 46. Fred, remember the year that this guy had last year? Looking at him yesterday in practice, he looks bigger, he looks stronger, he looks faster. Look out this year. He's going to have a better year this year than he even had last year. The Blue Raiders are feeling pretty good about themselves, especially after a record-setting performance last week. But the best thing they can do, put it all behind them and get back to work because those records don't mean anything today. From the 49-yard line, second down. Wants to throw outside. Falls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. Goes to the tight end and knocked away. That makes it second and ten. From the 27 yard line. Second down. Steps up in the pocket. This one's going deep to the end zone. Touchdown, Blue Raiders. They look awesome on that play. A well thrown football and a great effort to get the. Middle Tennessee State is lining up to kick this one off. He'll return it from the six. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Middle Tennessee State is up a score. He's in trouble, and he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From the 44-yard line, it's second down. Here we go. 59, Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Reception, look out, nobody there. He's at the 20. Tackle made the nine yard line. Looking to go up two touchdowns. They'll bring him down around the two yard line.
touchdown, Blue Raiders. They line up to kick this one away. Fielded at the four. He makes it to the 25-yard line. And you know, Kirk, we get a chance to see one of the great players from last year. And if he has the kind of season he had a year ago, I mean, we could be talking about national awards. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out. And most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. So on first down, they go to the air and pick up huge yardage. Well, that was just a well-executed play. They picked a perfect time to stretch the defense with a passing play, and it worked. They get about six yards on the option to the halfback. They're about four yards away here on second down. You know, for a safety, this guy has really good hands. I'm very surprised to see him drop an interception like that. Could come back to haunt his team as well. They're about four yards away here on third down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's scrambling. Throws it deep. And they make the stop right around the four-yard line. Defense. He's got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. He's on the run. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Play. Here we go, folks. Third and goal from the four. Brought down at the three. Robinson only gets about a yard there on the option keeper. It's fielded at the two. And down he goes, the 32-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Middle Tennessee State is up by a touchdown. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. The Blue Raiders are one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Tackle at the 47. That was not the greatest decision to throw into that tight coverage. But he knows his receiver has unbelievably good hands. Having a target like that can be empowering for a quarterback. And he's 
tackled at the 40-yard line. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. From the 40-yard line, first down. Now he's scrambling. He sheds it. And he's taken down at the 40. yard line. First down. They bring him down in the backfield. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. Middle Tennessee State is up seven. To that quickly and he stopped behind the line loss of two they really just didn't have any room to work on that play the defense just suffocated him there from the 22 yard line third down a quarterback in the gun with five receivers Looks to the end zone. Got him over the middle. Touchdown. result as you can hope for and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here you know when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far this defense coordinator got to be livid uh, he's got to get in your face he's got to challenge them he's got to get their emotions going because when you play defense it's not just about X's and O's it's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass Nearly intercepted. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Under pressure. A man open touchdown. makes it three scoring tosses for him. The quarterback is just having a great game so far. He's had absolutely no problem finding the end zone. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. the catch and look out he's tackled around the 37 yard line it's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks halfback's got it on the quick throw and down he goes at the 48 yard line Line. 
So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. Makes it to the 11. Walter gains eight yards on that play. That makes it second and two. Throws it. Incomplete. Almost picked off. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Touchdown, Blue Raiders. He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Bennett, to Bennett from the four. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Paul, this is an example of this quarterback just really being able to go out and show his competitive spirit. And each time he plays, he puts that out on display. Let's also give some credit to the offensive line. They've done a really good job of keeping the pressure off of him just long enough to allow him to read the defense, be able to make the right read, and get the ball thrown downfield for big plays. They pick up seven or eight yards on the option. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Quick throw to the back, it's incomplete. He gets out to about the 28 yard line. From their own 28 yard line, it's first down. and 10. Ball on the 48. That makes it second and 10. Quick throw. Tackle made at the 45. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Gets him open field. Makes it out to about the 30. From the 30 yard line. First down. Gets out to about the 21 yard line. Tenth play of the drive. Gains his way to the 13 yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 13.
So at the end of three, the Blue Raiders lead 38-24. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Mike six, 33, 33. Here we go. 345. 345. Nice play to set up first and goal. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Touchdown, Blue Raiders. teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's looking for six. And this will be caught. Touchdown. This young man is the epitome of a playmaker. When the ball is in his hands, positive things seem to happen. There aren't too many guys... the ball very effectively on their last drive which ended with a touchdown the defense has been talking it over on the sideline trying to make some corrections let's see if they can stop them this time I expect him to run the ball kill the clock and put this one in the books it's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks middle Tennessee State is winning big Gains his way to the 40-yard line. Here they come. Throw in left. Grabs it and he might go the distance. And a huge lead is about to get a little bit bigger. They'll bring him down at the 16-yard line. That's still no excuse for this defense to just shut down. I mean, you would think that they would work even harder to stop these guys being down by so much. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Nice run, and he's brought down. He laterals the ball. They can't bring him down, and he's in. Boy, he looked determined running the football. Nobody was going to keep him out of the... The kicking team has their hands team on the field, but the return team doesn't. Tulane is lining up for the onside kick here. He's taken down to the 37-yard line. Boy, this offense has been consistent throughout this entire football game. The quarterback's doing a good job of leading this team. How about the offensive line, the job that they've done? Just a great team effort to allow this offense to have a spectacular performance. Collier takes a handoff. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 27. They get to the quarterback, and now the ball is loose. The defense scoops it. Look at him go. He's at the 30, to the 20, the 10. 
Touchdown, Green Wave. This offense has got to try to pull it all together now after the fumble cost them six points just moments ago. I know as a quarterback, it's always hard to watch the defense score a touchdown on you. But it was always a reminder to take extra care of the football. And they make the stop at about the 43-yard line. And the halfback toss gets maybe three yards.